Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to edit video like Magnus Media using Premiere Pro. First, I create a new sequence width and height 90 to 1080. Press OK. I am going to add some transparent images. These images, which I edited using Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can also use Photopia. I will put all images link in the description. You can download from there. Create a copy of this leg image. Select the back leg and adjust the position and rotation. Set keyframe for position and rotation at the beginning of the timeline. Change the rotation to minus 30 degree. Go to difference forward and change the rotation to 30. Go east 20 frames and change the rotation keyframes. Select the front leg image and set keyframe for position and rotation. Change rotation. Go to difference forward and change rotation and position keyframes like this. Let me nest these two layers. Now I'm going to add the character. I'm going to adjust the scale size and position of this image to match this leg image. Set keyframe position at the beginning of this character image. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position like this. Now for the head, I am going to add this image right here. Place the bulb image below the character. Set position keyframe for bulb image at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position keyframe like this. Now set a keyframe for rotation. Change to minus 20. Go a few frames forward and change the rotation to 0. Let me add a background image to the timeline. Increase the scale size. Set position keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position all the way to the left. Go to effects and add gaussian blur. Increase blurriness to 30. Place all these layers on top. Now I'm going to add a black video. For this, go to new item, black video.
set opacity keyframe for background image over here go few frames forward and decrease the opacity Let me add a black video on top of Nessa sequence. Decrease the opacity. Under opacity, select ellipse tool and add a circle like this. Set keyframe for mask path at the beginning of the timeline. Increase the size of the mask path. Go few frames forward and adjust the mask path like this. Now under mask, check inverted. Again, go few frames forward and set keyframe for mask path over here. Go few frames forward and increase the mask path. Let me add this image to the timeline below. I just scale a position. Set keyframe for scale and position over here. Go few frames forward as the scale size and position. I'm going to add the money overlay video, place it over here, go to effects, key, color key. Select the color picker and select this black color, change color tolerance. Under opacity, select a rectangle shape tool. Add a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path at the beginning of this video. Go few frames forward and adjust the mask like this. Set keyframe for opacity over here. Go few frames forward and decrease the opacity to zero. Same for the money overlay video also.
You see type tool, I go to the test. So scale and position key frame for test. Go free press forward and increase the scale size and adjust position. Now go to our arrow image, go to effects and add tint, change map black to white color, let me add test, adjust position and rotation, decrease the scale size. Under opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Place this rectangle over here. Set keyframe for mask path at the beginning of the timeline. Go keyframe forward and adjust the mask path like this. Same for the stress also. Set keyframe for opacity over here. Go keyframe forward and decrease the opacity. Next, all these layers. Now I'm going to add a IKEA building image. Set keyframe for opacity for the test over here. Go at the end and set the opacity to zero. Let me add a cloud video below this IKEA building image. Add black video into the timeline. Go to effects and add crop. Change top value to 85. Create a copy of this black video. And change crop top to 0 and bottom to 85. Let me do some final touch-ups. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of tutorial videos. If you want to know how to use 3D camera in After Effects, check out this video. And if you want to know how to edit like Magnus Media in Premiere Pro, check out this video. And thank you for watching.